What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video and in today's video guys, we're going over the units you can use if you do not have the meta units for the bird. Um, Because I know a lot of you guys have always been asking me in my comments whenever I make like a bird video going over like the team. Um, Amazing, what unit can I use if I don't have Mitrona? Amazing, what unit can I use if I don't have Green Gother? You know, like there's a bunch of like questions like that that I always get. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining the best substitutes for each unit on the team and, you know, options for teams you can actually use on the bird. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing. We are on the road to 20k subscribers, man. The recent sub growth has actually been crazy. So, like, you know, guys, continue with the support, man. Um, you know, getting to 20k would be crazy. Um, you know, hitting 15k like lately was already super dope. But um, yeah, we're 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 pushing. So yeah, let's hop into the video and let's actually go over the units that I would recommend you use if you do not have staple units for the bird. All right, so if we go to the bird here and we actually go over like what units that I use to like actually clear for the bird. Um, these are going to be like meta units here. Like this is like a team that I used yesterday when I was clearing for stage three. Uh, Matrona, Magelda, Trader Meliodas, and Margaret. And let's talk about some options you can do for characters like uh, Matrona here. So Matrona, uh, as you know, Matrona is a taunt unit and also a healer for the team. Um, she's going to be able to provide the taunt here, the uh, defense related stats, three turn one. Um, which only one other character in the game has which is tank dn so if you want to replicate the power of matrona but with to a lesser extent um you got you're actually gonna need um tank dn here so this dn right here so small green dan can definitely get the job done um because she has the exact, exact same taunt the only thing is with her is that she doesn't really have a passive that's gonna increase um you know healing for the team um the only the only thing that you would probably need is going to be a healer on the team so if you don't have green Gulther, um an option that i like to say to tell people is going to be Miguelda. um obviously miguel is going to be a summonable unit but you know if you don't have Miguelda, then red Gulther can be an option you know there's uh there's still options you can go for as well um i think like um generally any like support healer unit like you could even go for like green elizabeth maybe um because if you're trying to like build a team here like let's let's just try and build a team here that would kind of you know do decent on the bird here right um you could have like this right um you have like this setup right here and then instead of like margaret you could put like um a power strike unit you could put like sariel right um if you have him so something like this could be like a semi free to play team that could probably beat stage one of the bird like you know having trader meliodas is like one there but um you know just just an idea right and even uh like characters like you know characters like brunhilder if you if you have brunhilder use brunhilder you know over sariel um because you're gonna need like a dps a strong power strike dps um for phase four of the bird and a lot of people ask and i know nagato made this video as well um why can't i beat phase four of stage one of the bird and the reason for that is because you do not save your your amplify or your power strike cards for the final phase that's what you want to be doing if you're going to be able to uh, complete that fight um you're going to need rank threes of amplifies if you're using trader meliodas and you're going to need rank threes of power strike if you're using sariel um that's just the way it is and that's how you're going to be able to clear the um final phase of floor one of the bird right um because if you guys don't know um floor or phase four he's gonna get an insane amount of resistance he's gonna get an insane amount of resistance right um he's gonna be able to tank basically everything and if you don't deal enough damage to him um he's actually gonna start uh doing corrosion and uh killing you right um so that's uh, something super important about the bird but yeah a really good substitute for matrona is gonna be tank the end because she does the exact same thing um the only thing that she can do is the healing for your team like matrona does but is a really good substitute option um again tarmiel link is just what you would put if you're running like a, a like a taunt unit um for sure if you want to beat like i think this team can definitely clear stage one and two you just have to get some good rng um obviously all your bird runs are, are reliant on rng right um always right um but yeah like obviously you guys are gonna have some better options and some not better options like you know for, let's say you don't have trader melee but you have festival king you'd put festival king instead like this could be a team right here right um you could even put like you know brunhilder and sario like if you wanted like two double power strike dps's you could do like this and this would honestly be like a, i think a better team than the trader melee or um festival king team because if you run like this you have your taunt you have your heals you have your you have heals and cleanse too which is really good and you have your uh power strike power strike just in case your you know your power strikes go down so th this is like an option for like a semi free-to-play s team right 
Um, obviously, you can't free to play the bird because um, it is end game content and it's very hard. But uh, this is like some some options that you guys can run. Um, but yeah, and then like you know again as like your sub for like Miguel the Green Dolter, you would do like a healer like Green Liz. Um, even um, you know like even Red Liz works because I know I've I've used Red Liz in the past before. Um, I remember this works like you could do this right. Um, you could do like Margaret here actually as well, and you could have like this team and just do like a goddess based team, um, with like a, a Matrona there. Like this is a pretty good comp. So you know, there's definitely a lot of options you can do when facing the bird, um, and you guys are just gonna kind of mix and match your teams, right? Um, but remember, you're always gonna need either a power strike unit or an amplified unit that has rank threes by the by phase four of stage one. You're gonna need it. Like if you don't have it, you're not beating the fight, and it just is what it is. So. Um, that's gonna be just based on your card RNG at, at that point, right? But you know, it obviously depends on how that goes. Um, but yeah, again, Tang Dian, strong option, guys. Make sure to use her if you don't have Matrona. When Matrona comes around and you actually pull her, then swap out Tang Dian for Matrona. Um, if you're not using Green Gulther, like let's say, you know, I had Green Gulther on this team, right? Um, where's my Green Gulther? Let's say I had Green Gulther on this team. Um, you know, it wouldn't work because I have two goddesses right here. But let's say I had like, you know, Trader Meliodas and I had Sariel. So this this team could work. Something like this, right? The only problem with this team is you don't have healing because you're using Tank Dien. If you had Matrona, you would have the healing, right? And that would be really good. Um, but yeah, like, you know, you guys have a lot of options you can work with when making bird teams. It's all just based around you having a power strike slash damage dealing DPS. You're going to need a support unit. So either a Green Gulther, Megelda um you know like a healer anything like that can also suffice um you're gonna need a taunt unit and then a secondary dps you know someone that can either support um such damage like you know if you guys don't know like the team i used to run for uh, stage three um of the bird was this team right here with the festival king the one esnor green gother and matrona this team was a really good team as well because the one esnor at six out of six is able to hit double damage cap under a king shield because he gets the damage dealt right six out of six he's doing double damage so he's actually able to hit damage cap twice, which is very, very strong. So there's a lot of options you guys can use when building teams for the bird. And it's all about just mix and matching your teams. You know, remember having your tank uh, slash healer. So this is my healer and tank. Uh, you know, if you didn't have Matrona, you'd have Tank Dian here. And then you would have a healer here instead of Green Gulther or like a support like Miguelda. Like you could really do like, um, let's say you did, uh, let's say you did like Miguelda here, right? And you had Tank Dian because you don't have a Matrona. Let's put on like Tank Dian. You can do like something like this, and then let's say you didn't have uh, the one Esnor and uh, you know Festival King, but you did have Trader Meliodas. You could put him on the team, and then you could also put a because uh, you already have Miguel to being your healer as well, so you don't really need to worry about your heals from Matrona. Um, you could actually bring another DPS. You could bring like Brunhilder. Um, you could bring like the one Escanor. Um, you can bring basically any other character you think would be a, like a secondary DPS that could help boost your damage, um, especially for a phase four of stage one of the bird. So that's basically it and uh, going over like team ideas for what you guys can be using on the Birdman because um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me amazing like what do I use if I don't have Matrona like what do I use if I don't have Green Gulther you know like there's just uh, always questions that like come or like up like that and that that's basically it in the video man that's kind of just going over um, what teams you can use and stuff so um, one last thing to note as well is that if you guys don't have the actual healing card set you can use this one right here which is the HP recovery healing card set. Um, which actually recovers 2% of the max HP at the start of the allies turn when taking damage, which is pretty good, right? It's not going to be as good as the other healing card set, which I'll show you guys here. Um, it's not going to be as good. Uh, oh, and it doesn't show because I don't have it. But if we back out here, we actually go to artifact cards. We go to artifact set bonus. The one that I'm talking about is going to be um, this one right here. If you have this one right here, the Guardians of Istal, this one is really, really strong on the bird because if an ally is debuffed from a skill during the enemy's turn, restores 1% of max HP and basically how it works, the moment you get dissolved or you debuffed, um, when this thing is a max, I think it's like 5% of max HP or something, it's something crazy. So you actually do get a lot of healing from this as well. So if you have this healing card set, make sure to use this. If you don't have that healing card set, you can use the free to play one with right here, um, which can actually suffice as well, which you get 2% of max HP uh, every turn. So that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next Grand Cross video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.